everybody. So maybe you're quarantined. Maybe you're stuck indoors and you need something to do with your family or your roommates and uh, you only have the things that are around the house. So I thought maybe I would put this together, um, how to do some jug band music under quarantine. Uh, jug band music is a form of blues from the 1920s um, with a lot of interesting aspects, but one of the things it's known for is its use of homemade instruments. And the first thing we're gonna try today is something I bet you have in your house, and that is spoons. Now here I have two ordinary spoons. You might have seen somebody play a pair of spoons like this, which has been attached by this nifty little handle, and that's a really good way to start. Ready to go musical spoons. You wanna give it a try, Karina? Just like that, you are a spoons expert. Oh, but what if you don't have the connected spoons? What if you have is a drawer full of ordinary spoons? This is how you hold them in order to play music. First, you're gonna take one spoon in your left hand. You're gonna take your right hand and you're gonna make a little fist. And then you're gonna give a thumbs up. Once you have your thumbs up, you're gonna take the spoon right side up and slide it on top of the finger and under the thumb. We don't want the handle to go down into the fingers. That makes it too hard to play. You're gonna set the handle right on top of the fingers and drop the thumb right down on top of it. And you're gonna hold it pretty tight. You don't want it to wiggle around or fall out. Now, ready for spoon number two. You're gonna take spoon number two. You're gonna flip it upside down and dump out your Cap'n Crunch. And then you're going to slide it in between to the fingers in your hand. And you see me adjusting and squeezing. I'm trying to make sure that they stay pretty close together, just like Karina's spoons stay close together because of the handle. Once you have it, again, you're squeezing pretty tight. You can even see my white knuckles. And I'm making sure they don't waggle because they're not gonna make any sound until you tap them on your knee. How's that sound? Pretty good? <laughs> Let's hear yours. Great. Karina and I are already doing a rhythm. That rhythm goes bum, 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 bum. Nice. So when I play the spoons, I like to use a rhythm that uh, Pete Seeger called the bum ditty. And the bum ditty is a rhythm for banjo players. And he called it the bum ditty because it uh, sounds exactly like when you say the two words <laughs> That's right, bum diddy, bum diddy, bum diddy. It's one long note followed by two short notes. And you'll notice I got my two short notes by going down and up into my hand. So let's try that, Karina. Can we go bum diddy, bum diddy, bum diddy, bum diddy, bum diddy, bum? Really good. Can we try a little faster? It sounds like this. Bum diddy, bum diddy. Now one rhythm I like to play from, uh, with the bum ditty actually comes from one of our favorite books. And inside of this book, there is a rhythm that says bum ditty, bum ditty, bum bum bum. We're gonna try that rhythm. Here we go. Ready, go. Bum ditty, bum ditty, bum bum bum. Bum ditty, bum ditty, bum bum bum. Nice. So now you've got the bum ditty down. You can play the bum ditty, bum ditty, bum 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 rhythm. I'm going to show you something special. This is called a finger drag, and you're going to take your free hand and spread your fingers out. When you do that, you can drag the spoons across the fingers and get a galloping sound. And you'll notice I did it right into my knee. And the faster you do it, the more like a force it sounds. So I'm gonna show you a rhythm I bet you recognize when you hear it. You wanna hear it, Karina? Mm -hmm. Here it goes. Ba -da -dum, 
Pretty good? Yeah. All right. So now you have spoons. You know how to hold them. You've got your bum ditty rhythm. And you have your finger drag. Have fun putting them together in any order and making some music around the house while you're stuck in the house. Have fun. Mm-hmm. <laughs>